Plasma here from Need to Achieve and NTAGameGuys.com. We're now continuing on from the last video. We've just now entered the Shattered Forge. This is a side mission you get from that woman. So once you first enter the area, you'll see a chest in the middle that you cannot get, and you'll see some water down below. All you have to do is jump in the water and go around inside the water, and you'll find your next coin. It's coin number 26. All right, we are now going to get the page number seven. This is well, pretty much very, very, very close to the end of the um, side mission. You'll have to fight a stalker that comes down during a cutscene, so you won't miss it. This is the only stalker in the um, well, stalker baddie I'm talking about in this side mission here. So once you get the cutscene, defeat all the bad guys around, and look in the corner for some vases, and you'll find the um, or urns destroy them and you'll get the next book okay this is now the nook once again this is in Bane's wood so well the area called nook so you gotta go through Bane's wood to get to the nook so, so later on well during the nook you'll find this outside courtyard here and you'll find the coin inside one of them urns okay this is how you get to the mystic area well mystic stone area so that's where you got the coin so you wanna follow the path down here Pull the switch right there and follow the path all the way down to here and this is where you end up. Now I'm going to fast forward it. Okay, once you enter this door, go straight left. Well, you know, sorry, straight to your left and climb that. You don't have to go where I go, just as soon as you go through the door, turn left. Climb these um, two little poles sticking out here. Climb to the top, turn around, and shoot your mystic stone number 13. Okay, coin number 28. Once you carry it on, so you go back to coin number 27 location and just continue on for the next door. So as soon as you go through the next door, just jump down into the water. Now you want to do is follow the stairs down. This time now go in the water, or sorry, dive under the water and follow the stairs all the way down. And you'll find an opening, or a doorway, sorry. Go in the door and look up and you'll find coin at number 28. There are no more collectibles in the nook, as far as I know. Okay, now you want to head into the Lost Temple. This is after you proceed after the nook. Once again, this is part of the story. Okay, coin number 29. As soon as you get two areas into the Lost Temple, and it will be to your left. Okay, once you took the only route possible through the Lost Temple, you'll come to this area right here. You'll see that golem there in the far, far, far back. And all you want to do is now jump to the water and pick up the uh, coin that you see glimmering inside the water or under the water or inside ever whatever one yeah you know you got the idea jump in the water okay mystic number 14 this is once again the only way you can proceed after you get the golem you have to attach the uh, chain and whatever like that and now the mystic is right below right there I'm um, like an idiot I didn't record when I got the uh, mystic okay coin number 31 once you get a little bit further than this well than the previous thing once again you will have to come through this area anyway so it's part of the story so now you want to do a wall run jump wall one jump and you get to the other side as soon as you land look to your right and you'll see coin number 31 Okay, proceeding on, slight, I'll say about 10 seconds later, you'll end up in this open garden area sort of thing. With like a uh, little building in front of you with hanging stuff. So now you want to go to the big tree at the far back to the left of it and you'll see the coin at number 32. Okay, page number 8. Into the next area, or the doorway, you will find two of these um, golems, if you want to call them that. You have to use both of them anyway to proceed on. 
So this is when you first move your first golem across here and you'll see the page to your left. So you can't get there just yet, so it's, you have to um, activate both golems into the right areas. But it's part of the story, but you may not figure out you have to go back once you've done it right. So once you've done the chain area a bit with the golem, head to the next one. Move that golem to this area here, then you're done. Now you want to do is head back over the chain and go past the um, that golem there. I'm not sure what they're really called, but I'm just calling them golems for now. Okay, now head back to the uh, blocked off area and go to the right and you'll see page number 8 of 40. Okay, moving on. Power number 3. This is quite a way, well not really quite a ways away. Anyway, once you enter this area, you'll see some uh, platforms slightly to the left once you enter the doorway. All you have to do now is just climb all the way up to the top and you'll see the power just hanging on now on the side of the building. Okay, in exactly the same area you'll find, I believe it's page number 9. So in the same area, now you want to jump over the beams, or jump on the beams, and you'll see the page just standing in that doorway there. There we go, that's page 9. Page, no, sorry, my bad, coin number 33. Once you continue on, just before you head to the door, you'll see this cutscene here. After the cutscene, just stay to your left and destroy every box you see. But it won't be these boxes right there, you just saw, this video just skipped. Anyway, it's in the middle on the left. So destroy the boxes and grab your coin at number 33. Okay, we're now back at Tristone Village. Okay, once you head into the foundry, if you don't know how to get to the foundry, you have to go through the Maker's Forge to get to the foundry. It's part of the story, so if you're following this while doing the story, so you shouldn't have no problems finding it. If you haven't, well, if you've done the story already and just getting everything else, so yeah, the uh, the foundry is past the Maker's Forge in Tristone Village. So that's coin number 34. So now we're heading inside the foundry. This is one of ten of the resistance stones. Okay, I wasn't too sure whereabouts it would come at, but on, on the strategy guy once again, um, it, it says it's on here. But I, I waited and waited and went for where the hell is it? But yeah, just be patient and just wait for the uh, the right one to come along and you'll find it. Okay, coin at number thirty five. Okay, once you come here, you'll have to come here anyway. And you'll ask, well, so that Khan guy, what do you call him? Pep, will throw you over the edge. You know, you will throw you over to reach this area. And you have to jump in this area anyway. So once you're swimming about, you'll see a coin to the right. Page number 10. Once you get to this area, sorry, this is after you get the um, that new ability. I'm not sure what it's called now. I just I just played the game. Oh, what the hell's it called? Uh, anyway, it's something to do with a hook, death grip or something. Once you get that ability, all you have to do is go to the edge, drop down, and press right trigger to grab onto one of them grips there. Now you want to do is fight these two guys, or just run away. It's up to you how you want to do it. So after you fight the guys. I should really skip this part, but I didn't. It didn't take long anyway. So now you want to look about for another grip you can grab on. So you want to wall run, then press right trigger to grab on. Once you get to the top, look to your right and you'll see page number 10. This is one of three of the chapters for Dead Page, or Book of the Dead. And you can also sell these in the store. That I haven't sold them yet. I'm not sure how much they go for. I have no idea. Okay, coin at number 36. Once again, you'll have to come to this area anyway. So once you get to this area here, 
and you'll see your uh, teammate will say, here, I can throw over or whatever. I used to throw stone bigger than you or something. You don't have to make him track you over, but just jump in the water, climb on the uh, them pillars there or ledges and get to the next area. Okay, once you uh, get to the next area, don't do what I just did, fall down. Anyway, climb up all the way to the top. Now, all you want to do now is jump down, head into the little pipe area here, and make a left. Get ready to shoot, because you've got to kill them bats that will come behind you. Anyway, grab coin number 36, and move on. So that's where the coin is. Okay, coin number 37. Once you get to this area here, it is not too long away from the uh, last area. And just head into the back left of this area and shoot the urns and you'll find coin number 37. Coin number 38. Okay, once again, you'll have to come to this area anyway, so you'll most likely be riding one of them golden things. Anyway, all you want to do is just jump into the water where you are now and just swim about on the far left hand side and you'll find coin at number 38. Okay, coin at number 39. Once you've climbed, it's in the same area, once you've climbed the big massive wall side, then you'll come to this top area here. Jump into the water. This is part of the story, I believe, so just uh, you have to climb up there and just jump in the water and swim along as far as you can go until you get to a dead end. And that's where the coin number 39 is, and there's no more in the foundry. Yay! Okay, once you... um kill the next boss I'm not saying what it is but you'll find out once you kill the next boss eventually you'll be able to fast travel you won't be able to fast travel just yet so once you kill the boss then you can fast travel back to the area that you've already been to but this is after you get the new ability I think it's the death grip we're going to call it so you can climb up new walls on certain areas but as far as I know from the guide I've been reading while well, the book studio book Darksiders 2 it's just this collectible that we can get just now so all you have to do is go to that the 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 jar for jar I don't want to call it I don't know I'm gonna call it anyway you know where it is it says the name or whatever it's on that building then you have to jump off now this is when you get to the tree of death this is pretty much well it is a different dimension so it's the same sort of area but it's just different names and like the place looks completely different but it's the same sort of map it's just changed about. So once you're leaving and you'll see the bridge, this is your new collectible, it's called an ETU Goth. There's only 15 of them. And we get to collect another three more different types of collectibles on the way. So this is during the breach level. This is the first mission you'll come to during this new dimension area. So once you fight, I believe it's your first set of bad guys, through the next door and look left. And this is where you'll come down anyway. Come down this bit here and you'll fight two bad guys, go through the door and bam, look to the left. Okay, once you exit or enter, sorry, the next door, in the, well, it's a lot more open area, this next room, you'll see a quite a few bad guys here. So run past them all and go behind the statue to your left or right hand side, either side. And you'll get coin at number 42. Okay, we are now doing the Mal. I thought the breach was part of a mission, but it's not. It's going towards a mission still. So once you get the last two collectibles in the breach, you head outside the door, go across the bridge, and take a left. Once you take a left, look down here, and you'll see coin number 42. Coin number 43. Once you uh, get the last coin, now you want to head directly straight. I don't mean straight off the edge, just turn around and go straight. And follow the path, uh, keep going straight until you can't go no more. Take a right and go down these little ledges here and blah blah blah. Enter this building here, take a left and take a left again to pick up your coin at number 43. Okay, power stone number 4 of 25. This is from the last location and yes, it's in this location. And I couldn't find it for a minute, 
But yeah, once you uh, leave the uh, archway where you got the coin, it's pretty much you go out, turn right, it's on the uh, right hand side on the upper level. There we go, fight the bad guys that come after you and move on. Coin number 44. Once you head back out of the area that you went to to get to the coin and the power stone, now you want to take a right. You will see a coin in the uh, distance in the corner. So that's where it is on the map in the little corner there. Now you want to head down all the way down to the little um, what well, looks like a spear sort of thing. So all you want to do now it, it gives you a path to take right or you can go straight. Don't take the right, go straight on. Now you get to this switch here. Um, I failed on the first switch attempt because I'm guessing the cutscene uh, shows you what happens but I tried to climb it but I fell down so I skipped that part out and just reset the um, puzzle thing up again and just grab your next well sorry it's your first of five of these new relics uh, well the next goth type relic Kai goth or something moving on now you want to go down the road that I told you not to go down. This will this be no Serpent's course. Peak. Now head up the first set of steps. Well, they're not very big. So as soon as you enter them steps, look left and shoot the uh, Mystic number 15 on the left hand side. Okay, this is now Eternal Throne. This is Resistance Stone number 2. Okay, if you're not sure where this place is, as far as I can remember, I've just played this a minute ago is in the um, arena area well it's where you see like all these ghosts fighting and you talk to the guy in the middle you can like you, you talk to him you can, you can learn new new moves and whatever the, then you have to talk to the chancellor and whatever it should be in that area let's go to the underground level so if you look on your map and look for a serpent phone um, you'll find it okay in that same area there's coin at number 46 there's no more in this area. Okay, I am need to cut it short just then because the next area is called Gilded Arena and that has quite a bit of collectibles. I'm trying to make the video so it's 19 to 22 minutes roundabouts there. I probably won't go over 22. I don't want the videos to be too long or too short to try and make them even out all the way through. I'll see you in the next video.